if Ethereum's still up. I'll be right back. You're not going to put the short of Doge on the stream? No, it's on the uh, fair desk. I don't want to go through and edit this stuff. I got the Bitcoin demo short up on the stream. That's entertaining enough to watch. <coughs> How beautiful would it be if Hetz just 500%? And everything else dropped 20% from here. Oh man, oh man. I know Metis just got a nice pop. That thing was down at 90, is at 105 now. I think they're in layer two, so I think they're getting hot. Oh, this might be a nasty red candle for Doge here. Quick stop. Yeah, I think the meme run is over. And yeah, now all this is going to go, all the profits from Doge and all this is going into Ethereum and the way of twos. No, I don't think uh, Doge has actually got any of this uh, major run. I think this is just spillover, like kind of premature ejaculation kind of. So I think uh, what's really going to happen is yeah, Ethereum's going to get the next love, but after that, when Ethereum's finished ripping, that's when we're going to see Doge and the other alts really do their thing, in my opinion. Hey, this is just a little, you know, uh, wet dream, premature ejaculation. Last time too, right? Bitcoin and then Ethereum and then I just gave a lot of profits back because of this dump. Wow. Pepe is showing a little weakness up here. Doge is gonna be third online, I hope. He should have shorted for the heck of it. Let's face reveal the guy who shorted Doge that broke his rules. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, look at all these people claiming their tame tokens. <laughs> look at all this. Look at all these people I had to send tame tokens to. Can you <laughs> God, this goes forever. <laughs> Discord making out like bandits. Uh, I broke the rule. I shorted Doge up there. Shorted Doge. <laughs> Getting wild tonight. Reminder, if any of you guys want to lock in TAME tokens, I'll uh, put announcements for the new rate real quick. Exactly. 11 o'clock just happened. The dump started. It's always on the hour when the dump starts, I'm telling you. Time has a lot to do with it. It's crazy is that Green Satoshi token pumped like 500% in like an hour tonight. Why can't I catch those right before they pump, you know? What's the ticket for that Satoshi token? Is that that? What is it? Uh, what's the ticket for it? GST. GST. 
Yeah, like green Satoshi token. Yeah, I know Metis looks like it's going to get hot. Like, Ethereum's getting hot, so when the layer 2s, the update is for the layer 2, so the layer 2s are going to pop, too. So I'm thinking, like, like Metis, um, what's another good one? Lido, LDO, Ethereum, Arbitrum, OP, all them, all the layer 2s. What chain is Metis? It's Ethereum, right? I, I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, it's, it's they, a, lot, a lot of people are calling it Ethereum, Ethereum's number one layer, too. I just did a two team, but I didn't know if you started from the bottom. And by Vitalik's mom working for the company, that's, that's big. You're just mad you're not on Discord and you can't claim your team tokens, sir. <laughs> They're missing out because obviously liquidity is being provided. They're... Awesome, MJ. So, yeah. yeah, the TAME token, the flat rate fee increased by about 10%. Now, instead of a dollar per 1 million, it's a dollar 10 per 1 million for the flat rate fee. And I put that in the about TAME. Let's take a look at the TAME token chart real quick as well. So we're going to go get the debt screener chart. <coughs> oh, uh, let's, uh, so from the bottom of the dip, tame token went up about 4.97% thus far. Not too bad. I'll put the link to the Tame Token chart if you guys want to watch it. It's swapping on the Pulse chain. About $108,000 market cap here. Very low market cap compared to many cryptocurrencies. Yeah, I think the memes are cooling off. I tried a lot, create a lot of content for the past two years, Prime. Uh, let me show you. <coughs> uh, go to the Discord. Let's check out charts. Let's see how far this goes. Mostly I'm the one posting it here, but let's see how far this goes. Let's make it faster. Let's make it even faster. Wow. If I'm scrolling this fast, imagine how long it would take you to read all these charts. Some days I'm spending 18 hours per day making content for the YouTube and Discord. See? See how much content still? Let's scroll it down. Let's see what the date is here. This is only to uh, October of 2023. <clears throat> Pretty solid green block at Doge at 6 cents there. Hats at 0 0.00338. Ethereum green block in the 1600 range. And we had the pre-market dip. <clears throat> so... Pretty good, pretty good um, content in the Discord chart channel. Do some good announcements as well. <coughs> Go through the Discord. So many things. Been giving away these TAME tokens for free to a lot of people as well. You check journal, a lot of people. <coughs> a lot of people posting in journal. Even voice chat on Discord right now, we have 86 people in the voice chat. It doesn't sound like 86, but we do. And anyone's welcome to speak up and ask questions if they have questions. Lots of content with the Discord and YouTube intertwined together. The Tame token. What do you what do you see the Tame token in like five, ten years? I can't give any expectations. What's your hopes? 
I hope that it has good utility within 5-10 years. I'm glad it's on Pulse Chain so the transactions are not too expensive. One second, I gotta open a window, I'm hot. I'll go make another YouTube account, Carter. You're trolling a little bit too hard. No, yeah, he was trolling yesterday, and he was saying that he didn't care about what I was saying, and he was talking badly about Discord members. He's just been trolling. He's rude. Hey, um, Tim, how's it going? Um, I thought I'll just jump in here and, and ask a question because it was cool to see that you say there's 86 people on the on the chat. But uh, yeah, most of us are listening. Um, anyway, I wanted to ask a question, um, but I've clearly forgotten it. Um, look, I myself am pretty new to all of this. Um, but I'm, I'm not, you know, um, fresh, right. So I've been following for a while. Um, and yeah, I guess as a beginner, what would you kind of recommend for us? And, you know, just like a, call it a day one to the channel, um, chat or kind of explanation. Sweet. What did he st I don't know if he stepped away. I thought he stepped away. Yeah, he said he had to open a window real quick. He'll be back. Oh, that's, uh, that's hilarious. Um, anyone else wants to maybe jump in and yeah, I'll, just I'll take a say? shot at it. So Sweet. I remember like two or three years ago, I found the channel on YouTube myself. And Tame was just, he just sat in the chat channel talking to people doing TA and like people would ask about coins and he'd do TA about that specific coin. Like very one-on-one -on -one type of assistance. Now that the the Discord is a lot bigger, it's a little more like he kind of has like seminars and stuff almost every, I don't know, once a week maybe, but you know, you can catch him online a lot. And he's just here to talk and help. And most of the people in this chat are just here to talk and help and assist each other in making money. So it's a good overview, I think. Sweet. Well, that makes sense. And yeah, it's uh, the same thing. Um, sweet. But like they said, like, you know, the key to being in Discord is just ask those questions. I mean, whatever it is, somebody's. I'm gonna be there, you know, try to help as best as possible. Yep. If you don't know what a term is, or if they're talking about a pat, just don't be afraid to ask because everybody started from a place of no knowledge. Yeah. We're still learning some, you know. I'm yeah, not. this uh, crypto thing is forever changing. So, I mean, just like Tame said, I think yesterday or the day before, like, we'll look back at all this charting the way that everyone's charting now, like 10 years from now, and like, it'll be all different and funny. Mm. I think he opened it at 19 and a half or something like that. You said you opened at 19 and a half? No, no, because they're asking in the chat where did it take short. I think he took short at 19 and a half. 
Ah, oh, okay. Okay, I'm showing a Doja 189 on the copy trading on Fairdesk. I want to see uh, Doge at 10 again so I can go buy a huge bag. Let's go to 8. That would be nice, wouldn't it? 7 yeah. cents. I have my orders from like 11 down to 8. Maybe this will be the short party back to 16 to pick up the people who missed the ride. For making money, that would be pretty nuts to long that doge 10 to 20, short it back to 16 and 16 and a half, and then long it back to 20. <laughs> Doge likes to travel, that's for sure. Yeah, but it is a very dangerous shorting it as well. Um, <clears throat> super dangerous shorting. Joe says, them. historically, Doge pumps after Bitcoin tops. Doge pumped before Bitcoin topped. Doge pumped before Bitcoin topped. Look at the charts. Doge was coming down while Bitcoin was making those all-time highs. Look at the dates. After Bitcoin hit all-time high, Doge did not pump, and Doge didn't make an all-time high. Look at over here. Look at this. Look at Dogecoin. <clears throat> Look at Dogecoin back here. Where was that all-time high for Doge? May 8th, 2021. Where's the Bitcoin all-time high? <clears throat> Bitcoin all-time high was November 2021. So don't tell me you're looking at the dates because you look at the dates wrong. May is before November. Dogecoin hit all-time high before Bitcoin hit that all-time high. <laughs> Hey, Tim, so even if we went to a dollar, it has to come back to four cents or it's going to stay in 10 cents, 14 cents. Like even in November, November till like Doge was dipping by then. Doge already hit the all time high before Bitcoin hit that all time high and was dipping at that time. <clears throat> we have liquidations even here, like that can bring us down under uh, 16 cents and would probably liquidate 15.5 on those big stop losses.
I was live streaming the day Dogecoin went from 0 0.003 all the way to 8 cents. That was a big Elon Musk tweet <coughs> with the Doge magazine. A very nice pump. I think we're coming down though. We had a good run. People people are gonna go to bed and wake up and their position is gonna be much different. You don't have to spam your message, Joe. I can read your message. Okay. I don't have time for trolls. You're going to sit back and you're going to watch me win. You're going to sit back you're going to watch this 500% on hets. Where Doge could not even do 500%. You do realize that if hets goes 500% from here, it's much higher than the bottoms. <laughs> It'd be about 16 times from that bottom. And then let's see if Doge could go 16 times. Doge would have to go 83 cents to make that same return. Doge would have to get 83 cents to get the same return as holding hits to 5 cents from that range. <coughs> from the bottoms. So if I do a bad prediction sometimes, people can take that data and use it for their own indicators. We can revisit all these candles in a few years though and it's going to be almost irrelevant unless you were scalping during this time. You could probably buy Doge, Hets, Bitcoin, Ethereum at any of the green blocks we've had. No issue. Price is 100% above every green block, right? I had the same problem drawing the green blocks early on. People gave me a lot of problem those green blocks, but when we go back, like let's let's do Doge for example. Um, let's do Doge for example, cause a lot of you guys didn't like those green blocks either. But now we're above a hundred percent every green block. All right, look at this. Are we above this green block at nine cents? Yes. Was this a risky one? Yes. Are we above this green block? Yes. 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 We're above this green block? Yes. 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 Price above this green block? Yes. Above this green block? Yes. Above this green block? Yes. 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 Are we above this green block? Yes. <clears throat> what was the distance between this green block and this red block? About 5.5%. We also have this red block up here, topping out up here, about 6.4%. Are we currently above this green block? Yes, 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 yes. So going back through, a lot of people, you're like, sell the green block. You guys kept tweeting, sell the green block, making fun. But price ended up over 100% of every single green block. This was like the best play, the best play right here. Swapping your Doge for Hets, January 20th, when Doge was at 8.8. .8. Because <clears throat> Hets was significantly at a dip, and this would have been a very good play. And then look how far Doge dropped from here. That was over 13% drop in just two days. Oh, was this green block accumulation zone bad? No. It helped fill one of my orders at 7.5 cents. I, I didn't put all the way down, but order fell at 7.5. Was this green block bad too? No. Like from this green block to the red block was pretty decent gains. 7.5 up to here about 16%. So 
Green blocks pretty good historically. Red blocks can be a little bit shaky, especially right now. You're looking right now, but ultimately, when you're looking back and you see the red block dips, like it does dip pretty significantly. Like let's go back through some of these red blocks. Uh, it doesn't look m like much, but from this red block earlier on Doge, uh, about eight percent drop. Eight percent drop would liquidate someone doing uh, twenty-five times leverage, twenty times leverage, fifteen times leverage, fourteen, twelve times leverage, and almost eleven times leverage. So eight, it's a pretty decent red block as well. If we clear this liquidation block, this red block is definitely good. This red block, good as well. We're already down over 11% from this red block. So you can say that it's bad. But why don't you make an indicator if it's bad and do the inverse? If it's really that bad, your inverse should print a lot of money. Right? <laughs> I think I have a lot of the trading figured out. I definitely have a lot of the trading figured out. There's a lot of people in Discord that have a lot of trading figured out as well. So when people call something, we get to look at the data and research it. Uh, Oaktown Boy says the last few red blocks have been wrong. So what do you classify as wrong? So uh, this red block here, we're already down 11%. Was that wrong? Uh, if you would have bought here in the red block, you would be down 11%. If you bought this red block, you would be down 4%. If you bought this red block, price did go up by 13%. But we're about to be under that red block as well. Price is under this red block, this red block, this red block. Uh, price fell under this red block pretty hard too. This was when I showed you, like over 8%. And look back here. I think this one, I had one here as well. Chart didn't save. But it's in the Discord I posted, and we dropped over 6%. Was that wrong? Just an indicator. Like, is your RSI wrong? No. These red blocks as well. Look. 3% drop. 6% drop. 2% drop. So it's not really wrong. It's just an indicator. Yeah, we've been making great calls at each one of those red blocks. It's just really tough when the market's running away from it. You know, yeah, but it dips you know, as well. You didn't make any wrong calls. You made great recommendations. That's really what each and every one of these blocks are. The <laughs> recommendations to viewers, the people that are trying to just view and watch, and you're doing everything right. It's just tough making the exactly correct decisions at the right time. And yeah. each time, you're making great decisions. If you zoom out, that's what people are kind of looking at. If you, if you if zoom out, Joe, like, what would you rather buy, red block or green block? More than a green block. Yeah. But the only thing, what, what the only thing could have been different. Those could have been yellow blocks along the way. But every one of these have been a, careful. Don't you dare buy up here. Be be in the awareness to start selling. That's really what it is. It's just a mechanism to bring your attention up. Hey, I wouldn't buy up here if I were you. So every one have been really helpful. It just depends on the way you're looking at it and what you're expecting out of it after. You're not always right, but when you're right. <laughs> No, that's what Tam was kind of saying. Each one of those red blocks were actually correct. It's just that the continuous market kept going. Normally, he puts in a green block after, but it's also a time where it wasn't the best idea for a green block in that time. It's just if it keeps rising, might be a better idea to sell it this way. You know, so that's that's kind of what it is. Yeah. So if I were to draw a green block there, uh, I want our green blocks price to be above green blocks for like more than half a year. Uh, I don't think if I draw a green block at 18 cents, price will be more than that for half a year. That's why you're continuously drawing red heads up blocks. It's, it's, they're really helpful indicators. You just have to learn how to interpret it properly for yourself in your own trades and what's right in front of us, too. Why are you closing your short time? Uh, I'm waiting to see how far it's going to bleed down. Oh. 
like, was it wrong for me to open the short here? Possibly. But price is already down 7% since I opened my short. And I didn't tell you to buy and sell the red blocks. If you go back to my chart in Discord, you'll see when I manually type the word buy. You'll see when I manually type the word sell. I did close my last long on Doge in the 14 cents to 15 cents range. And he doesn't reposition. short Doge. He doesn't short Doge, Doge very often. But when he does, it's for, for a pretty good reason. Don't rem don't remember this, but some of you guys are going to remember. Funding fee is so high, it's going to get expensive for these guys too long. If they're paying over 1% per day, sometimes up to 3%, to keep their position, that can eat away their profits. Can definitely eat away their profits. Joe, did you get all the TAME tokens I sent you? Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm at 100 million TAME tokens. Oh, nice. Did you do the uh, tasks today as well? I didn't even know there was a new one. Yeah, I'll it's it a new one. Check announcements. I've been sending them out. Tame, were my screenshots helpful? Uh, to a point, yes, they were helpful. It's very interesting how that edit button is where it's at. Yeah. But like look. you can you can hit edit at the very bottom and then transfer funds uh link opens. Are you gonna do the tame task today, turn me? I uh the tweet, I did it. I I'm gonna send yours after Dave right here. Okay. I'll send you an extra five million for sending me that screenshot with the buttons. Oh sweet, thanks. Shib just took a massive beating. I'm glad I sold it 4-5. You know what else took a massive beating? My eggplant. Bada bing, bada boom. You gotta be clear focus, guys, when you're trading. And on that note... Look at the chart. Look at this eggplant right here. Look at this head and shoulders pattern on Doge right here. Five minutes. Let me uh, see if the AI will draw a head and shoulders. Well, let's do it real quick. Um, No, but we, we definitely bleeding down from that top. So from the last two red blocks, we're down. From the last three red blocks, we're down. Uh, from this red block up here, we're down 14%. Doesn't that seem risky? Also, if you want to rock, lock in that flat rate fee for the TAME tokens, it's $1.10 per 1 million TAME tokens today. Oh boy, Bitcoin's down already $2,000 almost from that top. And we just bleed down through these liquidations. Coinbase is glitching out again. People's wallets showing bad. <laughs> Weird timing. Coinbase really fucked up right here. Coinbase really fucked up right there. Oh, did they stop the movement again of Ethereum? Well, uh, K in YouTube chat says Coinbase just showed 50% off and now it back crazy. People look onto they It just had a heart attack. Uh, well, let me check real quick. That's weird. Look at that wick on Bitcoin. Oh, yeah, I started seeing a big massive sales on Coinbase US dollar pair. Uh, but let me put it in perspective for you. On Coinbase, we had a one minute candle, and Bitcoin price went from. It went down. Only 133 Bitcoin sold and made the price drop by almost 1%. If 100 Bitcoin can move the price by 1%, that's a big liquidity issue. <coughs> Uh, 
I'm telling you guys, Metsy has the 0% spot fee right now. I'll put the Metsy link in the chat. If you can't use Metsy, there's also the Fairdesk. It doesn't have the uh, VPN requirement for Fairdesk. But Fairdesk is going to be higher fees. If you want to save your money on fees, probably use Metsy. But you can copy trade me on both Metsy or Fairdesk right now. I'll put the Fairdesk VIP one. You get VIP one if you sign up on my link. If you did sign up before and don't have VIP one, email tamethearc at gmail.com. Give me your user ID and I can add you to the VIP. It's weird timing on that Coinbase stuff. <sighs> but yeah, that's that's really big movement slate right here. That's over 14%. And it only took two hours to move 14%. That's really showing that it's very volatile up here. Where does volatility come from? Low liquidity. Where does low liquidity come from? Less people buying, more people selling, taking money out of the liquidity side. I think the incentive token from Pulse Chain will be the Nets Pepe. But it already went up over a thousand percent from the bottom as well. So it's kind of already outperformed Doge and all of these coins. But it has a lower market cap. Mm. Does anyone have Kronos? I think it's pronounced Kronos. Crow from crypto.com? Yeah. I have, a few, I have a few NFTs that was minted for free on there, but I don't really have it. I'll check the I email, Marcus. I, I just I apparently bought some and forgot all about it and just checked it. That shit's way up. It's up from when you bought it? Yeah. Nice. It hit a dollar the last bull run. Yeah, it says I'm up 56%. It's yeah. not a lot, but... <laughs> YouTube refunded me the other day when I tried to get 200 members. There wasn't 200 people to get members, so it automatically refunded me. That's crazy. How much is your Kronos worth right now? Right now, it's only like three ten, three hundred and ten dollars. Honestly, I don't even remember buying it though. Like, I don't know if that was something that I got when I got the app. I mean, I don't know. I don't remember. I just went and checked it. it just so happened, and I looked, went in there, and it was like it was over six hundred dollars in there or something from some other coins that I did buy. But three hundred and ten of it is with that coin. Dang, I thought that I lost my sunglasses, my Ray-Bans, as I was traveling, and I just found them, like, a month later. I'm so happy.
So actually looking at it, it says the ROI on it is 600 and 694.97%. It's not bad. I don't really know how to read this app, though. I don't really know. They, they're just weird. I don't know. How to... What's um, ATH, Dane? Do you know what the percentage of ATH? All-time high. Okay, so that's 16.20% is what my percentage of all-time high is. Okay. I'm just going to hold it. I ain't going to do nothing. Nice. Uh, we are at 12 o'clock candle right here. Susie went to bed too early, huh? Yeah, some people were staying up a little bit too late, so they're going to be oversleeping. I'm still in this Dogecoin short. I probably won't do another Dogecoin short again this year. It was an honor to be here with you. Did you guys see the Elon Musk tweet earlier? This man is out of pocket. I thought I was out of pocket with my comments earlier. He, he tops me on this one. I'm going to pull it up for YouTube as I read it. Elon Musk says, being attacked by 60 minutes is like being gummed by a very old man who forgot to put his dentures. Gross, but ineffective. He's wild. Nice gummy bear reference. Maybe this is a gummy bear reference. Either it's a gummy bear reference or a gummy like a blah, 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 reference. Wow. That's funny. That's deep. That's uh Elon tweet that while Doge was going up. They're definitely gonna make it dip even more. Anybody in Discord ever got a gummy from an old man from <laughs> without the dentures? I think you need a gummy without the dentures, right? That's what makes it a gummy. You're right. I wonder why he would tweet that. I, I wonder if he ever had a gummy from an old man. That's going to be a pretty. You know, those elite people be into some funny shit. I got a question for you guys. Do you remember when uh, Elon tweeted uh, the candles in his uh, computer, like back in the day? Really? Oh, do you remember it though? No. Oh uh, my God! He... Ripping the faces off. Look at this shorts getting wrecked. Lawns getting wrecked. Look at these wicks right here. I said sixty-six five hundred. Where we go, baby? The people that went long at sixty-seven k. I hope they took profits because we are down, down bigly, bigly. Same. You don't remember that though. I I know you were you remember he he posted a picture of his laptop and then in the top left corner there was like four candles and like each one was a little bigger. It was like a cryptic message he put out. I don't remember. There's just been so many tweets, but I will never forget this gummy tweet. This gummy bear, guys. You have a gummy bear. Gummy bear price dropping. Bearish. He's bearish. Elon's bearish. Oh my god, we are bleeding down. Oh god, Tame the Arc Red Box are failure. Tame the Arc Red Box failure. Bitcoin down over 3%. Uh, Dogecoin Can down over 15%. I go ahead and show off my profit? <laughs> oh my god, the big guys are selling and you're stuck holding their bags. Goodbye. I wish somebody would have would have captured this. Oh wait, we're capturing it live right now. I would turn on my camera, but I took off my pants earlier because I got a little bit too hot. I was coughing. So for the guy that said the red blocks failure, can I go ahead and post something and show off your profits? I hope they did the inverse. 
I'm not a bear. I'm just bearish right now, Trav. Long-term price will be up much higher, but short-term, I'm bearish. Wait till tonight. Wait till tonight. My God almighty. I had over... Now. What, what did uh, Bitcoin hit? Did it hit 69? No, it failed to make that higher high. It was like 68000 and $695. Okay. Yeah. So, so yeah, sixty nine was a psychology line. I mean, past that maybe eighty, but we'll see. Oh, uh, we're coming down hard though right now. So, Surf, you didn't send me your MetaMask address. No, I did. I got your tame token. So, yeah, thank you for that. I'll I'll send a tame. Thanks, man. Thanks for the tokens, team. Drew, I hope you sold. I, there's a guy in Discord. He's asking me if he should take profits, but we can't really tell people to take profits. But when we go back under like 14 cents, 12 cents, people are going to be like, oh, I wish I would have taken profits. And I'm going to be like, 10 push ups. 10 push ups, please. Yes, I can do push ups without my arms. That's how pumped I am right now. Isn't this funny? Like, look, look, let's revisit. Elon tweets back here at 1103, exactly one hour, two minutes ago, about getting a gummy by an old man. I tweet nice gummy bear reference. What have we been doing for the past hour? The past hour on Doge? Past hour for Bitcoin? But it's probably not Doge related. It's but, not. He's talking about something dumb on a scale or something. But now I can't get the picture of Elon getting a gummy from an old man out of my head. That's a horrible vision. But I went short on Doge, and I never go short on Doge. And then Elon tweets something about getting a gummy from an old man. It's that's the the weirdest tweet I've ever seen from Elon D Block. Have you ever got a gummy from an old man, D-Block? Anybody ever get a gummy from an old man in YouTube chat? Yeah, I got one at a concert. It had LSD on it. It was great. <laughs> did, he, did he forget to put his dentures in? Like, why did Elon even add this part right here to the tweet? He even added this part. Forgot to put his dentures. Gross, but ineffective. Maybe he meant to type, forgot to take out the dentures. But this is the weirdest thing that he could have tweeted tonight. Talking about getting a gummy from an old man. That is the weirdest thing I've seen him tweet in my life. The rocket like blows up. Looks like it, you know, did its thing. <laughs> I'm not, you're not in my fantasies, D Block. I just think it's weird that Elon tweets something like that. Because how can you tweet something like that if you never had it happen to you, right? Maybe how do you know? Thinking about it. How do you know it's a bad experience if you never tried it? It's going to be a bad experience, like, regardless. So that's why we're going down right now. So it's a sorry experience. Oh, say that again. Say it again one more time for me, please. It's a, a sorry experience, you know? So no, no, say that, going down. I mean, you, you can't have a gummy from someone that's going to be good. You know what I mean? So so when someone gives you a gummy, what do they do? They go down on you. Yeah, Doge is on. giving us a gummy right now going down on they us. They give you a used gummy. I mean, that obviously means we're going down, so... Doge is giving us a gummy right now. <laughs> old sour ass gummy from an old man, I guess. So. <laughs> ah, Doge is giving us a gummy. I'm afraid to tweet that to him right now because this might be the Doge tweet he replies to. That was the secret code for the boils to sell. <laughs> and then he has a rocket going up. And we're going down. Yeah, but that rocket blew up too. That do or the rocket, his SpaceX rocket went off yesterday, and we went up with it. 
Go like my tweet. Go like this tweet. It's so funny. <laughs> it's probably not Doge related, but <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> but that definitely like added to the cell pressure. Like uh, from that moment of the tweet, like we were trying to come back up. Then he tweeted that and we just had cell pressure. Yeah, that rocket 100% like blew up. So that's a, that was that's what I was saying about like uh, his candles that he had with his computer. He used to give subliminal messages all the time, but uh, you just don't get them anymore. So um, I don't know if he's I don't know if he's sending messages still. It doesn't seem that way, but yeah, I'm not sure. I just think that's the funniest thing I, I've seen the men tweet. Hey, what's your um, Twitter name? At better than being. All right, Surf. Sending your tame tokens to you as well. What's the opposite of a gummy? Is it called a toothy? A toothy. <laughs> I let go of the dough short. I would say a dummy. A grinder. I mean... I so that's gonna be going dumb dumb. You hear me? It'd be dumb dumb. Yeah, I'll close the dose short as well. It's fifteen percent profit. Hey, thanks, team. I had to t like increase leverage to defend it, and I didn't want to hold a high leverage. Oh, you entered a short later then. Yeah, I was adding on while the candles were drawing, basically. So you see how fast I open the short and close the short. Mm-hmm. It's not bad, not bad. Woo! <laughs> Close the uh, doze short there. My my Met C copy trades are in profits as well right now. All of them. I took your advice and was in a... Bitcoin low leverage short because you said something about the Bitcoin short. So those yeah. ready. Then what I, I, I allowed myself to get about fourteen to fifteen percent profits right there for that copy trade for the copy traders. We're not gonna be shorting Doge again for a while though. Where are you going to long at, uh, Tim? 16 and a half? 14. No, way lower. No. I'm not going to get a stuck for a while. I've got to be more conservative. Yeah. Can you see how many liquidations we got on that short? <laughs> and I did that on the copy trade on the fair desk. Reset your Discord page. Um, I'll show you guys my copy trade real quick if you want to sign up. I'm thinking about doing a low leverage Bitcoin short if we go back up. Uh, actually, we're still above these liquidations. Let me, uh,
Yeah, like a low lever short liquidation price is super high. There's so many longs on Bitcoin right there. They said if you can post the copy trade for Maxi on the chat. Wow, look at Hetz. Hetz is still climbing here. Oh boy. So let's do a little bit of math. If Doge is down by about 12%, and Hetz is up by about 17% or 18%, that's almost 30% difference right there. <laughs> It's crazy. I was just looking at that SHIB chart, and in, within a five-minute time frame, it went from four all the way back down to 20. It dropped 50% in five minutes. What happened to EW while this happened? Is that $3? So EW started pumping a little bit before. Um, no, it went past $4. Oh, SHIB only dropped to 20 on Coinbase. Everywhere else, it was like 35 EFW had a big pump right there. It was pumping. It went up about 25% in about an hour. And from the top, it dropped by about 14%. It came down at the same time. But HETS is not on futures, so it's not going to bleed down like Bitcoin and Ethereum and everything else over here. Ethereum's already recovering. <laughs> yep, people must have longed it to hold value while they dumped Bitcoin. Actually, dip, Bitcoin didn't even dump, right? It's still. It is a pretty big dip there. It did liquidate a lot of positions. Uh, a lot of people are going to be surprised if we go under 40,000. If we go under 40, go to 20, a lot of people are going to be like really sad if they didn't take profits up here. All right, I got uh, those people above Joe Aspen and Mike He's giving you a tame token for your daily reward. But how many people in here realize that we, we could drop 10, 20% on Doge like nothing? Many of you guys know that, so you're not going to over leverage along the tops. Uh, are you still here, BJ? She stepped away earlier. She wanted people to check something for her. She wasn't along on Bitcoin at 67K. She got the 67K dip earlier. I don't know if she was able to manage to take profits at all or got stopped lost in the profits.
A lot of people got liquidate right there though. I told you guys it's billions of dollars. Market makers are not going to give up that billions of dollars. You put a billion dollar in my face, I'm going to take it. If I put a billion dollar in your face, you're going to take it, right? You're going to, you're like, here, this is free. You'll take that. I will die trying if you put a billion dollars in my face. You know what I named my pecker? Billion dollar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course you did too bad I have all my teeth that was like the, that was a really scary short to do but we walked away with profits I can't wait to see the uh, people that copy me on that see their profits from that short Sansa Profeta I put the P in profit And the toilet as well. Mm. Yeah, Hetz is pumping while we're dipping. Let's go. Tana May says she got twelve dollars from the short. Cocaine White Firm says he's in profits on his Fair Desk account. Thanks, Tam. Cool. Is there anybody on Discord? I think there's like one person. Well, two people that got wrecked since I, I did the copy trade on Fair Desk. One closed the trade early before realizing profits, and another person uh, had their leverage pretty high. Is there anybody else? Man, walking away 14% profit makes me want to go to bed early. <laughs> they said Coinbase is the new Robin Hood. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, someone's still buying some hats down here. Uh, BJ, are you there? Man. See, I think Peach also. Peach was going to go AFK earlier too, but I was trying to warn her. Like, she goes to the store, she's going to come back. Bitcoin is going to be about $5,000 cheaper. Um... It went about three thousand dollars cheaper <laughs> in a very short time. Man, right when people go away from the charts, this stuff happens. And it sucks because we're human beings. We have to take care of other matters. This really sucks. I don't know if people are going to sleep and wake up. Maybe, you know, we'll be cheaper. <laughs> uh, possibly for some things, like, but Hetz is not going to be cheaper when they wake up. If they went to sleep down here, Hetz is probably not going to be cheaper when they wake up. Maybe restart your phone, Peach. Oh, is Peach saying something? 
she's in the chat. Her, her mic's, mic's not, not working. working. There's websites where you can do that, Kay. People are paid to watch that type of content. So you say you're going to do it, but would you actually do it if you had to do it? Reminder, if you want to buy the TAME tokens directly, small amounts to avoid the gas fees, the new rate today is $1.10 per 1 million tokens. Uh, saves you that $30 swap fee for Ethereum if you're bridging over for that first time. If you're already on Pulse Chain, you don't have to worry about that high fee. I cannot believe I just shorted Dogecoin there. I don't know what came across me. And then after I shorted Doge, Elon tweeted about getting a gummy from an old man. Did I cross over into an alternate universe? Hello. Hello. Working or no? Your microphone works. Hello, 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 hello. Did you go to the store? Yeah. Hello. Your microphone works. Is it working? Yes. Hello. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Dame, I told you a whole story. I was seeing a whole story on Discord and that's the that's what I texted you about in relation to that. So that's why I was like, oh my god, how it's not making any sense. So I guess my mic wasn't working. Oh yeah. Like I saw your messages that you were DMing me, but then I was like, okay. But tell yeah. me, did you go to the store before that drop? I did, but I was home already. Um, but yeah, like I think um, it's you know it's uh, cooling down on the four hour. We need to cool down. Sarcastic. Look at Hetz. It's not cooling down. <laughs> oh man. We didn't hold sixty seven five hundred, uh, sixty seven seven hundred. So we have to cool down now. Oh. I'll be right back in a few minutes, though. I'll pass over the microphone to you guys on Discord. I want to talk. Are you still in a short pitch or no? Right now, no. But um, I know that there's like this triple top on um, on this 15 and 30. Well, it's not exactly a triple top, but it's a bearish structure. So I think it's going to cool down sideways for a while. But I don't want to short because... I think we still have room to go up. In my opinion. Maybe Bitcoin keeps bleeding. Well, then I will show these high numbers, I feel like. I think I will get a confirmation in the next eight hours for that. And once I get that confirmation, yes, I'll show it. But hold on, let me open my chart because I just opened my um, I'm with you because. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Got distracted. Layden, I was going to say congrats to you because we said B Bitcoin literally did exactly what we said today. Congrats to you and congrats to me and everybody else that called this move. It was beautiful to watch. <laughs> Congratulating myself. I mean, it can only go up so much until we have to come back down. Uh, but, you know, it didn't do what the last move that I said, so I was strong about the timing on that because um, I was definitely expecting it to do that within the hour. Retest the 69. Um, but it was a extended move on that 30 minute time frame. So, you know, it was kind of asking for it to do a lot more than expected. Um, but yeah, I admit that that move, um, did not occur. 
However, I got that 16 cent doge, tw uh, sorry, 20 cent doge. I didn't get the exact price later. And I said 68800 and uh, we only went to 68670 And then my next target was uh, 69, break 69 and the next is 72. I mean, at least 70 or 70 to 740 if we can break that. But it's a possible we could do that later this week before Thursday reversal. So we'll see if that happens. But thank you. Oh, was it 6800 on Coinbase, Mike? Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, at least I got that. Um, but what I'm looking at here is then okay in this for our candle we still have two hours and 30 minutes left if this candle doesn't re it, this candle literally needs to recover its entire redness uh, after testing this 50 ema on the four hour I'm sorry, it's the 13 EMA. So we caught support on that on the four hour and got a bounce from that, but we need to recover all the way to about 67, 67,700. And uh, next for our candle, we probably come back down and retest the 13 EMA, try to see if we can hold support there. Um, and the four hour candle after that, we should come back and retest resistance. But yeah, this this sideways range on this four hour, but I'm still not seeing Bitcoin like drop drastically beyond this range. And again, if it doesn't hold this time 65, 500, then I will start my short, but not before that. On the daily, so daily, yes, the this today's daily, I'm expecting this pullback right so the sideways pullback that we have cool cooling off stochastics but tomorrow's daily i'm expecting another tomorrow's meaning the one that opens at 5 p.m tomorrow i'm expecting another retest of 68 700 whatever that number was and possibly break that so not today's daily candle but the one that opens tomorrow uh, so that will run into day after tomorrow. That daily candle should give us a high high since we lost support today at um, 67,500. We have to make sure we do this cool down and then attempt it again on that new daily candle that plays out on 6th and 7th of March. Um... I think, I think yeah. you're trying to fill Doge here. You can wait 17,554, or is the buy demand high right now? It's the same factor for Doge. And um, in my opinion, Doge is still uh, could also go back and retest 20 cents. Let me see. But yeah, this is not financial advice. This is just bullshit I am talking. For me, I think I'm just gonna wait for this to come down to 17.5 to fill any or uh, like longs I want. Guys, this may be coincidence, but let me uh, pull this up again real quick. This is something new from Mr. Elon Musk. Let's get, look at this new tweet from Elon Musk. It's another bar, and the, the, it goes from big to small now. They're just talking about media bias, but it's interesting when they put stuff like this. Because look at the top, 63, and then yeah. 16. Could Bitcoin go from 63K to 16K? I was looking at that same thing. I was um thinking maybe 
Bitcoin return. I don't. Well, yeah, I don't. Yeah, anything. I'm not gonna speak that. <laughs> I was looking at it. I was gonna interrupt, but I didn't want to interrupt her while she was doing her greatness. Uh, man, I feel really comfortable about my Bitcoin short now after that. Mm. Wait, you're scaring me. Let me see what. What did he text? What did he? Uh... I added that to Twitter channel. You guys can go like that tweet. I'll put it in the uh, YouTube chat as well. Isn't that didn't coincidence? You say, didn't you say that um, Doge was down like 5% right now? Oh, from at the top of up here today, Doge went down over 18%. Uh, from the top up there till now, Doge is still down over 12%. So, I see it. I see it. It's very funny. Like when we were live streaming that first day, Elon tweeted about Doge because we were trading GameStop and other stuff. When he first did that Doge magazine thing, people are like, "Oh, that's not about Dogecoin." Is <laughs> they're like, "Oh, that's not about Doge." <laughs> okay. Same, but that ended up not being about Doge because after that we pumped all the way to twenty cents. No, no, it was about Doge, a hundred percent. Let me tell you why. Doge was at point zero zero three, and spiked up to eight cents. Some it changes to twenty, but then they took it back, and it's literally a picture. I'm pull up on YouTube. I got it right up here. Um, bookmarks. All bookmark. Oh, let me see. Is this what my bookmarks looks like? All bookmarks. Right here, this is the tweet. You're telling me this is not about Doge. This first tweet. <laughs> Do <laughs> Remember that, that shit was wild. I remember it. I was streaming, I was trading at this time. We literally finally broke a penny after this. Member berries, remember. Let me get off of Twitter while we're on YouTube Live, though, because I saw a picture of a naked girl earlier. Don't want to broadcast that on YouTube. These girls throwing themselves on Elon. They're like, come at me, Daddy Elon. They're just throwing their bodies at the man. Won't give him a break. I can't even go through his replies anymore without seeing naked girls on Elon's replies. Man, maybe I should do that to get a Doge tweet. They said that Elon farts and this word takes it as a buying signal. <laughs> <laughs> I am bullish long term. We get dropped down again more deep red. You're going to see bullish tame. Way more bullish. I'm bullish on hats. You see me bullish on hats right now. Probably see me less bullish if we go back to all time high for hats. Right? But my hats bag is doing pretty good. Dogecoin kind of caught up to it uh, today and surpassed it by a tiny portion. But still not above it now. <clears throat> One of these days, I'm going to show you guys how I do my fractals. It's pretty... It's pretty amazing, and it's, like, magical. I think they want to see you do something else besides fractals. Mm. What are you going to wear when you do your fractals? Just keep talking. That's enough. As long as you don't do the diamonds, I'm okay with it. That grunt after you said that was hilarious from Peach. Who did a grunt, me or Peach? Yeah, uh, Peach. I, I, well, like, I only said him, but, but, you know, Elon loves puppies. What does that mean? He should just, he should just tweet um, puppies. Nope, Elon, don't tweet anything about Doge. Let me have a good spring break vacation. After spring break, we'll come back to it. Let me go down to Miami and drop a few bands. 
Here comes the second drop. Watch. I know. I'm still on a Bitcoin short. That was the first drop. We'll probably have at least three drops. I'm joking, Mike guess. I cannot go down to Miami. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to short it again on copy trade because I, I opened a Bitcoin short up there. I took the Doge profits, did a Bitcoin short on the copy trade, but it was very fast. Like it's very hard to ping you guys. That's why the people copy me, trading me already at that advantage. You um, close it? Yeah, I took, I took the 14% profit and ran. Oh, nice. I closed it right here, and then we did go up a pretty decent amount after I closed it, like over 3% almost. And that was on a lower leverage play. I think lower leverage play, and I walked away with 14% profits. A lot of people walked away with some profits right there, too. All right. So let me get the uh belt team. They can't sell on Coinbase. Oh, people having trouble on Coinbase? Yeah, Coinbase had some issues too up there on that last uh, red block. But Hetson, Pulse Chain, no, no issue. Guys, I'm going to give you an update about how many Tame tokens were sold over to the counter to avoid those gas fees. 480 million. So not even half a billion was sold. Uh, we already gave away more than that in the Discord for free. The total number of DAI stablecoin raised from that is 487 DAI. For the uh, over the counter to save on those gas fees. Oh my god, no. Elon tweeted again. Yeah, I was telling you that. That's amazing. One minute ago, he said, took some Benadryl for an allergic reaction. Their marketing is spot on. You can't sneeze if you're unconscious. Oh my god. <laughs> no bed tonight. <laughs> Let's do a face reveal. Elon helping us dump so we can get lower lows so retail can buy back in on dips. Loving it, loving it. Let me show you something I bought recently. Gotta be careful while I move over here. Don't wanna get banned. Ooh. You still got that AK gold piece? You got I cannot show that on YouTube. I can show it on Discord. Yeah, I got the gold AK. I got the gold semi-automatic AK. I can show on the uh, Discord, but not on YouTube. I'm going to send you a picture of a, um, uh, of a gold. It's a, uh, what is it? I think it's a 45 special or something like that. My friend's got it for sale right now. It's really nice. I've, I've made great. this. I was going to make a bunch of hexagons out of, like, leather and some other stuff as well. Yeah, send me a picture. I want to see the gun. I'm going to send it to you now. <laughs> Let's go back to the charts. Oh, what is this? Hetz was pumping while Doge and Bitcoin and dipping. Hmm. No, you can show guns on YouTube, like videos, but not on YouTube Live. If you're live, you're not allowed to move a firearm. And they have that for safety concerns. You can make gun videos all day long, but you can't do gun video live, like a live stream guns. You gonna hurt yourself? Look through the camera. <laughs> yeah, that thing was heavy as fuck. Like, almost 80 pounds. And it's sharp on the bottom. Where did you find that? A flea market. Mm -hmm. Got lucky, found it at a flea market. 
No, Demo Wrench does videos. He doesn't do live streams handling the guns. YouTube policy prohibits handling guns on live stream. Otherwise, I would be doing it. Imagine us shooting the guns to celebrate. <laughs> My god, are we bleeding or are we bleeding down? A lot of people that, a lot of people that were long up here probably stop lost or they're out of their trades. A lot of my trades are in the profit drastically up here for my Bitcoin shorts staggered in. Doge probably going to break under 15 cents relatively soon and people that did not take profits are going to be scared and take profits down low. Especially Elon tweeting stuff like marketing, 63 to 16, gummies from old men. It's crazy. ETH ratio is up 6% after that dip on Bitcoin and bump on ETH if you need to trade out. Same, I posted that in the chat. What did you, what tat, GA tat? TA? Uh, oh, yeah, so. I see it. Oh, no. Nice. Very cool. The Scarface gun. Is that ivory on the side of it, too? Or what is that white yeah. stuff? Pearl? It's like, it's pearl, yeah. Uh, you're welcome, Adam. Glad I could help you, Adam. So I just helped Adam across the email while looking at charts and doing this. At the same time, Hetz was pumping. I was helping him get some tame tokens and add the PRC20 network to his MetaMask. And all at the time, look at Hetz getting the pump while this is happening. A lot of people said I made the wrong move, so I'm my doge and taking profits on my last long at 14 cents. But uh, looking pretty good up here for Hetz. You know, you know what's chilling on um, Hex? Uh, the people that got fresh and fit um, into cryptocurrency, I guess, their advisors, they were chilling Hex like a month ago. So. Yeah, I saw their wallet dumping, but they already out. There's people that will tell you that Hex has enough liquidity. That's not true. <laughs> There's none of these crypto have enough liquidity for everybody. That's why Hetz can go more parabolic than Doge. The thing about Doge, the liquidity for USDT is very high. For Hetz, liquidity for USDT on on MetC is low compared to like the USDC and the Dai stablecoin on the Pulse chain or Uniswap. So. It can go parabolic. There's a reason why I have sell limits from 18 cents up to 54 cents for my hats on Met C. The tweets don't directly relate to Doge, but they were very funny tweets. <laughs> when he said gummy, I thought about gummy bear. When he showed candles going down, I thought about the Bitcoin price. Like, you got 63 on the left, 63 on the right. Sorry, 63 on the left, 16 on the right. But Hetz is getting buys up here while Doge and the meme coins are getting sold off. <laughs> it's very funny. Bitcoin caught pretty well here, though. Uh, we're probably going to get some lower lows on, like, Bitcoin and Doge, Ethereum, while Hetz is making these local higher highs. I wish Hetz was on futures. I would already go long on it. Like, the second it gets listed on futures, if I'm awake, I'm going to go long. Well, 
Where do you see the heck popping out? The all time high? Oh, look at the uh, chart channel. We had some sell walls for hats at 1.2 cents. We had some sell walls at th uh, 3 cents. And another sell wall at 13 cents. But by the time everything is done, the lawsuit against Richard Hart by the SEC, by the time we ever get listed on Coinbase or other exchanges, future platforms, hets will probably be above 75 cents. That would be over 75 times from here. That means every $1,000 would be over $75,000 if that happens. But if we're just very conservative, and you do that 5 cents like I've been trying to get you mod and a few people on, uh, if, if we go from here to 5 cents, like 500%, that means every 1,000 turns to 5,000. Someone asked me yesterday, Tame, would you rather be right or make money? I said I'd rather make money than be right. But I can also be right and make money at the same time by pushing, pushing through with a very tough trading strategy. Being very consistent. You know? Oh, some more buys right there for hats. <clears throat> well, I hope you're right. We're holding that hex. Like, did you buy hats before? Like at point zero zero three, or did you wait till point zero zero five? When did you buy your hats? I'm stuck holding that seven cents. You're holding at seven cents. Okay, so when you were holding at seven cents, did you get the airdrop copy of the PRC twenty hats as well? I tried, but I don't know. It didn't let me or something. And then I remember that pump it ran up again, and I should have sold there, but and then it didn't let you. Are you sure? Did you check your wallet? Did you import it on your MetaMask? Was it in your MetaMask? Let me, let me check. Send me your wallet. I'll check for you real quick. Send me your MetaMask address. Send it to me on ScreenBot. Okay, okay. Cause I transferred my stuff to the ledger, that's why. Mm. My thoughts I already gave my thoughts about Doge. I'll say it again, I think we're gonna come down. I think it's gonna get sell pressure. Probably be under fifteen cents sooner than later. What's up, Esky? If you're having trouble uh, with Pulse Chain or Hets or Tame Token, MetC, Fairdesk, any of that stuff, you can email me. I've helped a lot of people with some of their questions about these platforms, about tokens, stuff like that. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what did you think I was talking about? I can't see it. But when Hetz does 500%, it's going to be that tough question. Take profit, scale out, or keep holding and keeping those high sell limits in case we wick up to go to price discovery on people's doing market buys. Water G says you definitely don't have faith in Doge. Maybe he meant to type the word fate. I have fate long term, but I'm a trader. I'm making money trading Water G. I'm not going to be like that idiot that's holding his doge that bought at 50 cents. Sold it. Got his debt up holding since 50. Uh, why do I say that? Because look at the charts. Look at the charts. Price go up, price go down. If the price only go up, we should be above $10. If price only go up, we should be above $100 right now. But... Price doesn't only go up. Uh, STS is pretty good right now. Johnny Sevenfold. Um, 
I think STS was pretty good on the charts as well, but it is topping out as well. But I didn't short Doge last night. I shorted it today, Walter G. Made a quick 14% for a bag. Uh, I saw someone that was up over $150,000 on STS before. They didn't take profit. It came down to like 50000 They held through. Then it went up to over 240000 I didn't say we could go to 25 cents overnight, Water G. You may be talking to someone in the YouTube chat or someone else from voice chat. Oh, STS already pumped. STS pumped first, I believe. Stacks, I, I, I was watching the chart a while back. I even made a chart for people on Discord. Stacks pumped tremendously. Like, from January low, like, I saw people were in it from November at 58 cents to the top over 480%. Stacks did very well. And last time I made a chart where it was overbought was around $2 and it did like a 35, 36% drop from there down to $1.30 before coming up to make another higher high. It went up 180% from that drop. It's possible that it goes to 25 water. I understand that possibility. But I think the possibility of Hetz going up 500% before Doge going up 500% is way higher. <laughs> Eight hours ago, MicroStrategy announces proposed private offering of $600 million of convertible senior notes. Wow. They are going to get wrecked. If that Satoshi wallet moves some Bitcoin while Michael Saylor borrows money to buy Bitcoin and puts Bitcoin for collateral, it could create the biggest sell pressure we've ever seen. The biggest red candle by dollar value that we've ever seen. Oh, man. Let's go through though. Let's look at the red blocks that I drew over the past week for Doge. I think this would be very good to look at. Let's get some of these red blocks. Some of them are not on the charts. Like this one's not on the chart. There was one here right before the uh, bear flag. I'm going to draw it back on there, save it since I posted it in Discord. Um, but let's go back and look at these red blocks. Uh, is price lower than this red block? Yes. This red block? Yes. This red block, it did for a little while. This red block, it went under it multiple times. 8% um, this drop. This red block, not really. Nothing. No drop. But we did pump over 12%. This red block, we went down hard. We went down hard. And I even added another red block to show when I opened my short. But we went down over 16%. This red block, did we dip pretty hard? Yeah. How how many hours were we negative on this red block? Price was negative under this red block for about 7 hours. Went as far as 6.89%. People will say that's a failure, but I think it's a success for the indicator. Did we go down under this red block? Yes. About 2%. Very conservative. This red block, when I drew it, within a few minutes we were bleeding down. And that was over 5%. This red block, did we go down? About 
This red block was a failure. Complete failure. No down pressure at all. Uh, this red block, really big sell pressure. Uh, this red block, really big sell pressure after a pump. Went as far down as 11%. People will say that I failed. I think that was a success for my indicator. Uh, let's check it a little bit more. Uh, I closed my long around 13 to 14. Had a long here. This red block went down about 2%. Caution block leading up to the red blocks. Uh, had a green block. Caution into a caution block though. Uh, from the green block to the red block range. Green block to red block range right here. Roughly about 16%. Some would say that's a failure. I think that 16% is a success. Uh, drop down from red block to the green block. About 10%. Some will say failure. I think that's a success. Uh, we got the uh, guy's face that I drew over here. Before. After this doge pump. Uh, this red block right here. Let's review it because you guys think it's a failure. Uh, about 2.78%. And then we it went down some more over here. This red block was a really nasty red block. It dropped over 13% there. So pretty cool. From this green block to the red block, what was that percentage? Green block to the red block was about 20%. Some would say that a 20% scalp is a failure. I say success. From the red block to the green block, how much percentage? About 1%. About 1%, not that much. From this green block to the red block, how far did we go up? 4.82%. These are solid scalps. Solid scalps. So, you're going to see people on YouTube chat saying these blocks were failures. From the people that just don't have the talent to draw the blocks. Or the time or the energy to put so much time, effort to watch charts. 18, 20 hours a day, draw these blocks, post in Discord, notify people. They don't have the time, the energy, or the capacity to do it. So they'll go in there and say that the blocks were a failure. But then when you go back and review the blocks, you're like, oh wow, that made fucking sense. That was pretty good. Those were good plays. It made like 10 times that day. Same thing. When the when Hetz is at five cents, when we go back and look at green blocks, you're gonna be like, "Wow, could have made five hundred percent on that trade." Uh, what fees, Leighton? Met C has the lowest future trading fees, zero percent spot fee. So there's no fee for the spot side. For futures, if you're a maker, point is zero percent if you're a taker it's still very low point zero one percent i do a lot of scalps uh not getting eating up by fees here uh adam says where can you see the tame token chart i'll put the link in the chat for you adam Yeah, Metsy has 0% spot fee promo right now. You'll have to use a VPN, Christian. Zero maker. Beautiful. Layton. Uh, the fees are very cheap. The fees are very cheap right now, Leighton. They have a promotion. And they do this a lot, these promotions. Uh, look at the promotion right now. This is what the fees are right now. 0% spot. For the uh, futures... The maker is 0%, taker is 0.01%. These are very cheap fees compared to any futures trading platform, especially the 0% spot. That's very generous. 
Very generous. It makes me trading hats very well. It makes people buying and selling hats better than using DeFi swaps in terms of fees. Now, now future platforms funding fees, the funding rates is right now is is positive. That means people going along pay a little bit more for their positions. But that's only every eight hours. If you hold a position during the time funding fees is paid out, yeah, you're gonna pay the funding fee. Did you know, says Tame, why that guy said you're a scammer on Twitter? Who called me a scammer on Twitter? Is it the guy that said that I pumped Dogecoin with five million dollars? Is it the guy that edited my live stream and cut out a clip? Because if it is, I left the live stream up for you guys to watch it to know exactly what I said. I'm not a scammer though. Uh, email me the video, tamethearc at gmail.com because I'm not a scammer. Like, I had to get some toxic people out of the Discord before. But it looks like Hetz is outperforming tonight. Uh, is this green block a failure for Hetz just because we dropped a little bit and now we're up over 17%? Yeah, anybody that defames you, you should take them to court. But you should sue them at the most pivotal moments in their life. If you really want to punish somebody and you want to sue them, you want to sue them when they're at their brokest, so they're the most desperate. If you know that person is holding a large amount of doge, you wait until a big doge dip and then you sue them. It's perfect. It's justice. But there's worse things than lawsuits. I've solved I solved problems before that did not involve a lawsuit, and those problems never reoccurred for anyone. So there's ways to solve your problems without ever even needing to go to court as well. Only go to the court if you want to make the money out of it. I didn't say that, Layton, but there's there's very good ways to solve your problems where they do not reoccur. The sooner you learn that, the better your life will be. Where's the bulls at? Are you guys bullish or bearish up here? Put in the YouTube chat if you're bullish or bearish. Spam the chat. Let's see what it looks like. Bull. I don't know what Monster Inc. is on Pulse Chain. I think that might be something some random person made. Incentive token, that's one thing. But Monster Inc., I don't know what that is.
this is just the type of pullback I wanted as well. And if some of you guys have some problems you want solved, you can reach out to me. It doesn't take long to solve a problem. Everything pretty much held uh, with Bitcoin's drop. Which Elon tweet? Because I already went over both the Elon tweets. I'm going to do a poll so that we can get the data number as well from this. You said look at the Elon tweet just now. Um... Then one minute ago. Oh yeah, the uh, mandatory training for military members teaches that America was founded on racism and parents are too. Okay, that's interesting. But it is a tweet that says we have come a long way. We have a long way to go. <laughs> and the whole page is talking about racism. It is interesting though. We have come a long way, like, yeah, congratulations. Now let us dip so that we can go that longer way down the road. You said about the brain? You said the one just now, Elon tweet, like, one minute ago. Oh, he tweeted 10 seconds ago about Mark Cuban said 24 karat. <laughs> That's funny. Man, Elon's all politics on Twitter lately. Nothing fun. Give us a good meme or something, Elon. You guys know, like, the best way to pay AI is through crypto, right? I don't think paying cash for AI is going to do the work. People will tag Elon said porn is destroying Twitter at Elon Musk. The porn is out of hand on Twitter, honestly. You do know the algorithm shows you stuff that you looked at, right? No, I mean, it doesn't. I don't even use Twitter. <laughs> so how no, do you know I, it's I, out of hand? Nah, just because my friends, they're always like. Yeah, so it's showing them what they looked at. It's not out of hand. They looked at it. They looked for that stuff. I don't know. They, they, clicked, they clicked something and watched it for at least 20, 30 seconds. So they keep getting showed the same thing. That's how the algorithm works. You can't even go through an Elon comment without seeing some porn. Well, it's not really porn. It's just like nudity. It's not porn. You can see that stuff at the beach. Oh my god, no. No, Elon, don't reply to this tweet. <laughs> There's another tweet with a graph. <laughs> If Elon replies to it, let me show you what the graph looks like ahead of time before he even replies to this thing. This is what Elon might reply to next. Look at this chart. <laughs> it looks like the Dogecoin chart. <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to say here before the Elon reply. <laughs> oh, boy. So with your mindset, if Elon does reply to that and it sparks sentiment, what kind of sentiment do you think it's going to spark? Based it might it might get us back to that 20 cents range. Which would make a little mini cup and handle? Um, no, there's no mini cup. <laughs> what time frame? Not in five minutes. 
Maybe on the hourly? No. It, maybe on the four hour? No. It's not a real cup and handle. But look at Dogecoin chart. Just up, 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 up. We just need that really, really long wake up before it shoots down. Let me see the chart. I like Doge, but I like cats a little bit more at these price levels. If you join the Discord today, welcome to the Discord. Is that one? Look at the look at the number of messages from Tame the Ark or Screenbot. People pay like forty dollars to join Discord. Let's divide the number of posts I did to buy forty dollars. <laughs> so many posts. If you're new to the Discord, also make sure you enable push to talk on your Discord so you don't have your mic open. Uh, sixty-six percent of the YouTube are bullish up here. Twenty-one. Uh, so far though, uh, let me. I already read the numbers about the tame tokens. How much was purchased over the counter? About four hundred eighty million tame token. Let's see how many I gave away today for free. One. So I give away almost 150 million tame tokens for free between today and yesterday. We just started a new day about two hours ago or so. Someone says, isn't Elon acoustic? <laughs> People using those big words on the YouTube chat. I like it. <laughs> Is it Elon Acoustic? <laughs> acoustic? Autistic. The, 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 they type the word acoustic. Acoustic is sound and music. I used to remember nights where people would wait up till like three o'clock in the morning, and if there was not an Elon tweet, they would just sell. Yeah, I remember that every tweet we used to trade. I already made profit on a good trade today. My hets is also <laughs> almost up over twenty percent from the last screen block. Um. Hats is only up 376% from my big accumulation. So that's not bad too. Would like it to go up drastically more. But I would also like to have some sleep tonight. <laughs> Acoustic. That's fun. Yeah, I think I'm going to go de-stress. Meditate a little bit and then go to sleep. I just wanted to start this new stream up. <laughs> 